Hey everybody, welcome back to another diecast thing. This one's not a review. This one is actually going to be fixing or taking off the base of these uh, Kyle Busch sweep set Xfinity cars. So, the first thing I always do is I make sure I have enough material, like a cloth or something that I can set this on. So, I have a big towel. Because you're going to need to flip it over and set it on its roof, like that. Okay, so that's step one. We want to get it flipped over, put on its roof like that. Next thing you got to do is you got to figure out which hole you're going to drill out and which one you're going to leave in. So I always pick, I, uh, I pick one of them and I always drill one out and that's it. So I'm going to move my camera this way for once so I have a little bit more room to work because I'm at a desk and I want to be able to make sure you guys can see. So we're going to drill out, let me think here. I can drill out that one and spin, or I can drill out that one and try to spin it. I think we're going to go ahead and take out this one. So I have a tiny screwdriver, tiny drill bit. I just put a little pressure down. And all I'm doing here is I'm getting rid of the glue. So I'm not doing anything super crazy. I'm just knocking out the glue of each spot. You know, kind of rub it around. And you see how it, I can kind of rotate it once it, once I get enough of the glue out of there, I can move it around and rotate it, get it out of the way. So right now I'm just going to dump out a little bit of that junk. Get it out of the way. So that's how far we are now. We still got a lot to go. Just now to clean it out so I can make sure I can see better. So again, you want to make sure you have something underneath here that doesn't scratch the paint because obviously scratching the paint on a car like this is a stupid idea. This is a cool car. You don't want to scratch it. I mean, you get a race win with the NOS energy and everything. I mean, that's just its a neat car. You definitely don't want to... Never want to hurt your die cast, so. All right, so there we go. So we got the main piece off now. Most of the glue is out. Now you're down to just that screw. Now, if you have that screw, you can unscrew it, but that tip is a triangle, and generally you cannot get those. They are, I mean, they're maybe somewhere. I don't know where to get one. Uh, so I've just resolved to drilling out the head. So all I do is stick my drill bit right there in the middle. And put some pressure. And then we just kind of go to town like that. It's not doing the job. I think I'm going to have to crank myself up to a bigger drill bit. So I'm going to make that change quick. I don't edit my videos a ton, so unfortunately you're probably going to have this as just dead space. There's not going to be anything going on for about 30 seconds while I pop this new drill bit in. Do I want to go that size or I'm going to go one up? There we go. All right. So I'm just increasing the size of the drill bit. It's not seeming to get enough done. It's like it's, it's kind of stuck on something. And that's not a very sharp drill bit. I have used that for a lot of stuff. So that's why I know that that one's definitely having some trouble. There we go. All right, so back to drilling out the head of the screw. Yeah, so I'm getting some progress. Not a crazy bunch, but there is some. And that's what you're going to do. So the reason I'm going to not show you this next part is because I need more pressure and I don't like pushing down on a desk when I can't have as much control. So I'm actually what I'm doing is I'm setting it in my lap right below my 
um, right below my chair here. And it gives me a lot better angle here. So the biggest thing I'm doing right now, I just need to get better pressure on it, a little more control. Not 100% sure. I think I'm getting close. Um... Still not off. There we go. All right, so I officially got through it. Gonna dump off a little bit of the shavings here. I think, yep, yeah, screw is out. So what I'm gonna do is twist this to the side. So here's where we're at. You can see how I twist that side the base to the side a little bit. So what I'm doing is, move that drill out of the way. I'm going to twist this base. Actually, I usually want to go the other way. So we twist it off, pull the rubber piece off there, and now you got right there. I can pull this off. There's my screw. And from there, you can get a good grip on it with a pair of pliers. Let's hope there's my needle nose. I had to fix a car sensor in here earlier. My desk is a multi-purpose desk. So now, with a pair of needle nose or anything you want, anything you can get a grip on it with, you're just going to grab this and twist it out. Now, I'm sure there's other methods. Again, if you have the screwdriver, that makes this job 25 times easier because you have the right tool. I don't. Never been able to find that. Um, I don't normally get enough of these that I wanted to look for the, the right screwdriver. So I've just resolved to doing this and I uh, haven't had any issues yet. So I'm going to just continue to do that and I'm not sure if that's coming out or not. Yeah, there we go. I'm getting a little movement out of it. I'm not sure if I needed to loosen it or if it's just tight. But anyway, so yeah, you're you're just grabbing this. Yeah, so I can't get enough leverage that way. All right, so I'm at 9.04. This is going to be a part one of part two. For some reason, my phone only allows me to record in 10 minute segments. Not sure why. It's kind of annoying. Anyway, we'll leave it off here. Make sure you look for part two. I'll tag it in here. If not, what I'll do is I will try to combine them through some video editing stuff. Um, but anyway, this will be part one of two. Part two is coming up. We'll, leave, we'll start right where we're at here. I'm literally just going to pause it or start a new one, and then we're going to pull the rest of this off and uh, get this all over with. So um, make sure you look for the link, or if there's no link, I'll have this all cut out anyway, so it won't matter. So um, anyway, make sure you look for part two, and this has been Race Craze, and we'll see you in the next one.